IPD now looking for a driver in a deadly hit and run in the Bronx that killed one person and then sent another to the hospital. And now we're learning gunshots were fired right before the crash. CBS 2's Rena Roy has more from Belmont. An evidence bag now sits just steps from where police say 28 year old Wally Dominguez was crushed to death. This white SUV slammed into this van around 5 15 this morning and he was caught in the middle. On top of that, sources say a third car then rear ended the SUV. People screaming out for help. It was like screaming, like, call somebody. Another in his early 20s somehow got an ankle injury. Meanwhile, the driver and passengers inside the SUV simply got out and ran from the scene on East 181st Street and 3rd Avenue. I was at my house and I, I got this app named Citizen, and they said, oh, somebody was a hit and run. And then, like, a few moments later, I heard the helicopters coming and all that. I heard the cop sirens. As Steel Santos tells us around the same time, he also heard gunshots. I heard, like, four shots in the five in the morning. Like they was running down, there was a lot of people like drinking. I think they have a party right there. Like it was a lot of people. It was like more than 40 people here. They was running down when the cops came. Police sources confirm investigators did originally respond to shots fired, finding a gun and bullet casings here at the scene, but it's unclear if anyone was shot. It's terrible, you know. Just leave a person there, dead like that. Hope they catch him, whoever it is. Detectives now scouring each and every piece of evidence for fingerprints to find out who pulled the trigger and who was behind the wheel. In the Belmont section of the Bronx, Rena Roy, CBS 2 News. And police are also checking hospitals for any possible shooting victims.